I got this first one made before I thought, you know, maybe I should do a video about this. Because um, I'm making four of them. So I've got all my pieces marked out already. So I don't really get to show you how I did that, but I will show you what's going on here. Um, this is like a cabriolet. It's an offset turning. Uh, I've got it recentered because I cut this down here last. Um, but anyway, so the foot on these is going to point toward the corner. Um, the neat thing about these is that I've got a square end here and it's round from that, from this axis to here and then it's round on a different axis from here to here but the two join seamlessly. It's perfect. Um, I was reminded of this when I was watching my friend Uval's video about the uh, uh, piggy that he did for the uh, uh, oh the autism awareness uh, money raising thing. I thought it was awesome. But anyway, uh, the um, when he did the head separate from the body, he uh, did an offset turning and he ended up with a, some wor spare work that he had to do by hand in the middle. And there's actually a way to avoid that. Uh, making it just smooth, a smooth transition all the way through. And so this project demonstrates that. And since I'm doing it anyway, because I want to make something with uh, these cabrio legs, uh, I don't know what yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, I thought I would make them and then, uh, then all of a sudden I was like, well, hell, I'll do a video on it too. So basically you're marking center at both ends and you're marking where your square part ends and like I'm putting the bead right here you don't have to do that but I'm putting the bead right right there and then uh, you mark where you want the round from the center axis to meet the round from the offset axis and so this is where I want that to happen and then on the other end you mark out your foot whatnot then down here like since this is since the foot's going to be pointing towards the corner uh, my offset is actually at a diagonal towards the corner. So, and you'll see there's two holes there. I found out that I, I did it too far out the first time. So it's this hole in the middle is the one that's the offset. At the other end, you carry that line up and across through the center of where you want it to meet the round of the initial axis. Okay. So carry it through there, up to there, and up to the top. And since this is going to be the foot pointing towards the corner, I had to do that on two sides. And then cross those two lines, and they cross on the opposite direction on the other end. But they're not going to cross, like, since this is about, uh, well, this is a 16-inch piece, so we're a little over a third down the thing. So it's a little bit different distance than it is down here. So, and this one I had to move in a little bit, too, uh, when I changed it. But uh, anyway you get the idea. Instead of just offsetting one end, you're actually offsetting both but in opposite directions. So you get this butterfly effect when it turns and this area in here should stay in axis. So that when you bring your round up, it actually meets the round and there's no offset seam, so to speak. So anyway, I'm going to stick this in here. We'll get it going and you'll see what I mean.
Okay, so got the initial axis done. Now I'm going to swap it and offset it so that uh, we can do the offset turn. And you will see the butterfly effect I was talking about. So you can see the ghost up to there, and you can see a ghost down to there, but right here it's smooth. So this is the point where it's actually uh, coming out, uh, where the, the two have combined. So a little lower than what I wanted, but uh, I think it will work. Tank got to be perfect, I guess, in my case. And so now I can go ahead and form, well, basically I take away the ghost except for at the foot. And take away the ghost up to here except for at the foot. So that ought to do it. All right, let me do that. which is mostly sanding, but...
Nice smooth transition from one part of the offset into the other. Two down, two to go.